Hey everybody, how are you? I think we're going out live right now. Uh, and I'm Alex Bennett, and this is a special pop-up show, and we have got a lot of people waiting tonight. We thought we'd have a happy fizzies party uh, tonight. We'd have a happy uh, a Biden one party. Uh, it's, it's an amazing day, I think, for America. I think that we have prevailed. And now it's like everybody is saying the worst things they possibly can about Donald Trump. Before they just kind of parse their words, but boy, are we, uh, are, I, I, I went outside today, people were cheering and walking around. I'm dressed tonight in my Halloween costume of a, uh, uh, a socialist. Uh, so. I just got in the mail, I was yeah. happy. It came in the mail I love that. Day, but I got this morning. Oh, oh really? I wanted to get that. I yeah, Alex, did you see the story about the Four Seasons? Uh, about what? So, so Trump announced that he was going to give a talk at the Four Seasons in Philly. Something about and landscaping. His Sorry, idiots so booked the Four Seasons Landscape Company parking lot in an industrial part across the street from an adult bookstore and a crematorium. <laughs> really? It's out. It's in the news. I verified it because I wasn't going to say it if it wasn't true. Uh -huh. so he, well, he literally put that dildo Giuliani in front of a podium staring at a dildo store to give his, his talk. <laughs> right across the street was the Fantasy Island dildo shop. The, Wait, now this was what the thing today. Was doing? What, what was the thing yeah. they were doing? So, so Trump said, yeah. I'm going to announce, or I'm going to talk to the people at the Four Seasons in Philly, in Philadelphia. Right. A press conference to dispute this election thing. Uh -huh. Okay. And his people goofed and booked the Four Seasons Landscape Company. <laughs> what? And they set up a podium. Oh God! And I can I could show you. I can share my screen and show you the story if I pull it back up again. And it's right across the street. There's a crematorium where the dead go to get burnt. Yeah. And an adult bookstore called the Fantasy Island Adult Bookstore, the dildo shop across the street, for Giuliani <laughs> to give his speech. Oh. Poetry. Oh my God. Oh. If that's and, not the sign and he of the. Play golf. <laughs> yeah. Now, what yeah. Is, is the Four Seasons Landscape Company? Yes. Yes. Jeez almighty. And the Four Seasons actually tweeted the Four Seasons Hotel, there is no event at our location. They didn't want people showing up. Yeah. Well, they never booked it. I thought we'd do this little thing here, and then uh, at 8 o'clock, we'll call it quits because. He's given a speech. Uh, Biden's given a speech, and this yes. is what he's been waiting to give for the last four days, five days, last uh, four decades, last four decades. <laughs> and uh, you know, I saw—I don't know about you people, but uh, uh, and I, Mandy's in Georgia, right, Mandy? Right. Yeah. Uh, Biden's still ahead in Georgia, isn't he? Yes, and it's increased it's even increased. after the Secretary of State said there was going to be a recount. Yeah. And it went up about 6,000 votes. Oh, really? And now the last I heard is up to almost 8,000. And what did, what did Trump win, like Michigan by in 16? Yeah, well, it? I mean, the fact is that yeah. when they have recounts, they usually don't change anything. Yeah. yeah. And if they have a recount, that's fine. The fact <laughs> is, is that well, George no, Flint won like 500 votes or something four years ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't want to insult you, uh, but we don't need Georgia now. Oh, I know, but for us Georgians, especially well, you need the senators. Natives, yes, yes, yes. We, have we need the senators. Run -offs. The the senators run -offs. are doing it in January. Yes, January fifth, I think. Yeah, they mm -hmm. say there is more money being poured in there. Yes, um, mm -hmm. these two the elections than uh, than even in the presidential election. Yeah. I wow. just, I just we're going to be inundated with ads. God, Kamala <laughs> Harris. We need to have an election there. Kamala Harris? Well, she's a senator from yeah, California. No, uh, but all, all that has to happen is the governor appoints a senator. But then they're going to be an election at some point. Well, there's going to be an election at some point, but he's in the meantime, he's going to appoint a senator. A Democrat. Yeah. And he's a yes. Democrat, so it'll be a Democrat. Yeah. By but the if way, he puts senators into his cabinet, again, same thing. You know. Well, I think he's not going to do that. You know where he thinks it would be a problem. Yeah, like, like, like uh, Elizabeth Warren will not be in the cabinet because the governor of Massachusetts is a Republican. Yeah. Exactly. By, by the way, Georgia is up now eighty-one thousand eight hundred and forty votes for Biden. Oh. 
81,000 in with 1% left to count. Yeah, he's up by 81,840 votes. And they're still doing a recount? No. No, no they're still counting. They're counting. Yeah, but there's a certain percentage for a recount, right? North Carolina, they haven't reported anything in days. Yeah. And in Arizona, he's still up by. Oh, Biden is at 40. Wait a minute. That can't be right. 49. Point five. Uh, so it's he's still up by twenty something thousand votes in Arizona. Yeah, about where he's been all along. Hello, yeah. Michael Levin. We uh, Levin. We haven't seen you uh, before. Here. That's Paula. Oh, that's Paula. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on my son's computer. Oh, hi, Paula. I didn't yeah. recognize you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, here I am. That's our old friend Paula. She comes and stays with us every now and then. And, uh, From your mouth to God's ear. I, 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 I <laughs> all the others aren't listening, but of all of Marjorie's friends, right? You're my favorite. <laughs> That's because I love you. Huh? <laughs> uh, Marjorie, where'd you get that shirt? What shirt is that one? That's her yeah. birthday. That was my birthday. Ah. Oh, Election nice. day. Yeah. Tell me how much it costs. So I'll give you money for it and you make it your gift for your birthday. <laughs> Mine's, mine's Monday, November 9th. Really? Yes. Yeah. It'll yeah. be 25. <laughs> In this country. So, so Mandy, how, uh, were you, did you feel kind of like a Lone Ranger and being a non-Trump person in Georgia? Or were, was this idea that a lot, the majority of those people did vote for uh, Biden, did you feel not alone? Um, I, I know lots of people that uh, voted Biden, but I also know a lot of people that are very, as I like to use the word, butthurt about um, <laughs> Trump. Trump. And they are verbally, are very much expressing it on Facebook. Oh, wow. uh, This is not valid. No, you know, this is not certified. And I just keep going, okay. Uh, hey, hey, since hey. when does it have, since when are the, all these rules? Like, you know. That, as long as you want to believe that, go right ahead. Right. You know, I turn over to Fox or one of those and they're saying, well, you know, something here, there may be an illegal thing. And no, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it, it just, yeah. just suck it up. Yeah. In New York City, the cars were hunking. Oh, the kids so in Columbia wonderful. were out in the and street. And I went out. It was the most, it was like, if it, it weren't for the leaves turning, I think it was spring. Yeah. Did you get the, did you go out at all, Rick? No. Oh, it was really <laughs> spring like. Gorgeous. It. It was in the I told set. you I was supposed to pick up my car at the shop today, and it's like, I'll go Monday. Yeah. yeah. Well, I went out. I went out the front door in the, our, uh, what do you call it? Our courtyard. Courtyard. <laughs> and uh, I just, I, I, I think it's the first time I felt good this year. I just, I just went, I just breathed the air and I felt like, I felt like I was breathing in freedom. You yes. Know? And the idea that I'm not going to have to put up with this asshole anymore. He, he goes away. I'm not going to read his tweets. I don't need to hear what he's doing with his life. I, I'm through with him. He no longer has also control over my life. Right. Yeah. That's the most important thing. How he's long are no going to be in power? Right. We still have we still have some time before yeah. he's well, you out. Can do a lot of stuff There's, I'm now. looking at I'm looking at Facebook page tweet and tweets of people that I know who are right wing jackasses saying things like magazines are loaded, like oh, I've already seen six impeach Biden. Let's treat him like like they treated. Oh. I've seen so now we'll have a second White House at Mar Lago. I've seen. Oh God. So yeah. Yeah, but have you seen that um, Rupert Murdoch has turned on him already? Yeah, but yeah, he he's also yeah. has bought a portion of OAN, which is going to be the Trump. Oh no, that's where I I said that four years ago. The Trump yeah. network will start the next day. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, he's yeah. ready to do those three okay. assholes from Fox News onto his new network. Yeah. yeah. Based on the notes I have, though, I think there's fourteen or fifteen officials in his in his office that are up on criminal charges wow. and he is and he'll no longer be able to block people from seeing the evidence against him because he won't have the presidential privilege anymore and the and statute of limitations one half, are fine or one half of dollars back yeah hi steve we've been joined by steve but we can't see him it kind of looks like maybe 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 he's in a car he's huh? driving oh, yeah. he's in a car. <laughs> that's not a car that's a, truck. Uh, that's a rig 
Yeah. Let, me ask you, let me ask you, uh, uh, Paula, you live in Ohio, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What me was your reaction today in Ohio? Did horns honk? Like well, crazy? see, where I live is like an oasis. Where so, uh, uh, it's a democratic oasis. So um, I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, I don't live in Ohio. I, I, I live in I live in Summit County, which is uh, in better shape. Yeah. But um, I wonder about. Is, did anybody <laughs> give a shout out to Philly? Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess who's from? Philly? I mean, my hometown, Marjorie too. Hometown. Yeah, that's right. Philly. Yeah. They came alive finally. They came through. Well, and now yeah. they can now they can get o over that rape thing over at uh, P Penn State. You know. Yeah, I want to I'm only I'm only 20, 20 minutes from Summit County. I, I he does Oh really? She didn't yeah. like it when I when I call Penn State the rape university. You know. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> uh, yes, Jeff. Oh, turn on your mic. You're muted. You're muted, Jeff. I think. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Hold on a second. There you go. There you go. Oops, you just Come on. There. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when all these Fox uh, guys who uh, are going to go and work for Trump at his new uh, radio station, <laughs> beef, uh, radio station, right? They're going to find out that he doesn't pay people on time. He doesn't pay people, period. But he did, that's right. He didn't pay his contract. He broke. He owes me money. <laughs> there you go. Well, I have a question. How long will the Secret Service still stay around Trump Towers and the Trump uh, Hotel? I think they're going to be gone from Trump Town. I think that. Yeah, but personally, he'll be protected. They'll protect him. Check the rest of how his much life. money have we been? Is it $200,000 a week we've been spending to protect? Trump Tower. Yeah. When they stay at Trump Tower, he charges them over the amount. Well, no, I know that, but I'm talking about when he's not there, which has been most of the time. He they has, still has, have to protect They still him. have like $200,000 a week that New York Something pays like that. to protect that property. Yeah. I think once he's no longer president, the barricades are coming down. Right. Good. I'm wondering what how much it's going to cost us to have his Secret Service protection in the yard at the prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are they gonna work that out? Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, just asking for a friend. No. Yeah, but he'll be in Russia by then, or wherever. There's no. You, you know, I've I've often felt that I wanted to get even with Trump. You know, I would like to wring his neck for some of the stuff he's been doing. And this is exactly the kind of thing I dreamed of because right now he is probably suffering death of a thousand cuts. Yeah. Uh, you know, with this uh, this loss, because he can't take this sort of thing, you know. Well, I've told you, he grew up in my neighborhood. He was one of the most yeah. disliked young children in my neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. I know the place. You drove me past it on. Oh, I always drive you past it. Yeah. <laughs> he's lost a lot of times in his life, but this is the first time that he's lost where it is a dead end. There is no, and yeah. it's so it's it's so obvious. Everybody is seeing it. Yeah. I mean, when you have fireworks going off in England, the bells <laughs> ringing in Paris, like they're that's not even our country. Did, did you hear that, what the prime the prime minister <clears throat> of France said, or the president of France said, "Welcome back, <laughs> welcome back, America." Yeah. 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 yeah well, I think I I think already we look better in the eyes of the rest of the world. Just <clears throat> oh my God! We yeah. Did this week. But here's the part that bothers me, and I'm sure it bothers you too. There were 70 million people that voted for Trump. Yeah, like, like more. Uh, Biden more, he got, got more, more votes, more votes than any other presidential candidate in history. Do you know who's number two? Trump. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, 70 million. That means there are 70 million racists. There are 70 million people who don't mind you trying to touch somebody's pussy. <clears throat> that means there are 20 million people who will forgive uh, not doing anything about COVID. I mean, we could go on and on what they voted for, and that's 70 million of us. Yeah, and they're not going away. Here's another, Alex. Here's yeah. another one that just popped up. Folks keep talking about another, another civil war. One side... Eight trillion bullets, while the other side doesn't know which bathroom to use. That's what <laughs> that's what the right wing is putting up. Jesus oh, really? Christ! Yeah. Here's my here's my question. 
Yeah. And this is what frustrates me all the time. And I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. All of a sudden, since we have a, you know, Joe Biden in there, now everything has to be reckon like conciliatory and like why do democrats always have to do the healing yeah, we're, like we're why are we always the ones that have to unite same reason, and, same and be we have nice to the economy. Yeah, we have I to mean, fix the economy we got to balance the budget we got to do the covid bail out like, yeah. why why do we have to do that but they but republicans or we had this guy that didn't have to do yes, we, we had to be a mess. crazy man well, you know, I, I like what he said, and I'm trying to see if I remember it exactly. He said, we're not enemies, we're opponents, mm-hmm. you know? And, and, and that's something that I don't think Trump understands. No. You know, to him, anybody who isn't on his side is an enemy. Yeah. And I think we're tired of that mentality going on in this country. Half of hey, that's why people were honking their horns and you went up to Columbia University and the students up there were parking. Oh, well, and you go down to Times Square, we've seen pictures of that. It's like oh. it's like New Year's down there. Yeah. You know? but, I mean, I'm all for that, but it's all about Trump's feelings. We have to let him process the loss. And Who's saying that? he has to have a few days. You know, he needs a few days to process it and you know, to be able to concede. It's like, oh no, y'all were complaining when Hillary waited till the next morning to concede. You know, it's yeah. It just, it's infuriating. He's not going to concede. He's not going to put that little note in the drawer. He's mm. not going to invite oh, yeah. Biden no. and his wife over. And he inauguration. Of the inauguration. He's not, he's, because, I bet he's not. Who cares? Bye. You know, I mean, why are we worrying about this? That's because what I'm saying. what you do. The man the is inauguration. You point out, you point out that all the people who are standing there watching the inauguration and say, now that's a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> The, the you guy know, has, the has so many failures in his life, but, 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 he'll but, accept another one. Well, I don't know. No, he won't. This one has got to be eating away. And what did he do today? What would what you the, be doing if you were losing? What? Play golf. Golf. What? what the play golf. Play golf. Yeah. Which he cheats at. And that's his way of saying to all of us, okay? Exactly. Mm-hmm. His comment yeah. was, well, on Monday, we're going to deal with the lawyers. <laughs> The lawyer is Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, right. <laughs> as soon as he finishes at the adult bookstore across the street from the first season. <laughs> we saw some attorney general or something who said he had to deal with Giuliani on this thing. And then they said, what was it like dealing with Giuliani? And the guy just started to laugh. <laughs> I, it, 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 it. And how sad is that for New Yorkers? Like 20, almost 20 years ago, he was America's mayor. You know. He was never America's no. mayor. But That's you know what right. I'm saying. He, yeah. really, he was for 20 he really seconds. Went, he went down some rabbit trail and he just skewed off. Well, we'll have to ask the, the new attorney general. Yeah. Listen to, listen to Shecky because he has the He blew up thing. a building, Giuliani. He did yeah. what? He blew up a building. On 9-11, he blew up a building. Oh. Yeah. Well, he stored tell that stuff. How, how, why, why it blew up, though. This is the good story. Well, it's like the twentieth floor. This was from the was World this Trade number Center. nine World Trade Center? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I have not heard. And on the seventh floor, he stored gasoline. Tens of thousands of gallons and of they gasoline. Told them to put it in Brooklyn. They told and them to put it. No. Yeah. They told oh, them to put it yeah. in Brooklyn because if somebody attacks New York City, how are we going to get that? Them? That might be well. Number nine went up, and the reason <laughs> it went up was because that seventh floor was filled with gasoline. What the yeah. heck? Thank you, yeah. America's mayor. Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> Alex could tell you I about. Wasn't, I wasn't trying to insult. I was just saying, you know, he could have. Yes, he, went, he went dark passenger. You know, he went down the. I have a friend. wrong. I have a friend. Wrong well, you can tell the story about across the street, Alex. Mm-hmm. What? The hotel where he and Bernie were hanging out. Oh, well, here's the thing. I know a person. I won't say her name, but she's a very well-known person who for the longest time was fucking Bernard Carrick. Okay? Uh, That's Giuliani's partner. Uh, The one that went to jail. He was formerly the police chief. Well, he was going to be, what was he going to be in the... Trump administration before he went he to was. jail. You're right. He was okay, be- I think he was going to be the director of P- Pussy Touching, if I'm not mistaken. No, <laughs> they gave him his name for something, for some high position. 
Some but anyway, the, it was anyway, the spray tan I cabinet. said to her, I said, you know, I really like you. Uh, I'll just say her first name, Judith. Uh, and I, I think the world of you. I, I said, you're one of the most intelligent women I know. Why, Bernard Carey? <laughs> and she said, what can I say? I like power. Uh, you know? And, and, she, and she, you know, she, I, I said it to her and she didn't mind it at all. And we talked about it. And I said to her, I said, were he and Giuliani, were they kind of like not doing legal stuff? She said, you don't want to know the beginning of it. That they were two of the most corrupt people that you could possibly ever want to meet. I'm shocked. <laughs> Are you yeah. I think well, I, I love that. You know, Alex, I think we should turn it over to the new Attorney General, uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my God. <laughs> who, who do you think he's going to make Attorney General? That's Adam right. Schiff, I hope. You think so? I, I'm, I'm guessing. I was, someone I was, someone I was, of his caliber. I'll tell you the guy who is able to do it, but I don't think he will, is Cuomo. He Cuomo won't. won't take it. He was the head of HUD. Yeah, but he was also the Attorney General of New York. Right. You know, and, but I don't think he would take it because I think he just wants to be governor forever. Well, because he's running New York, so why would you want to leave that? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he has, he, in fact, he said, I'll keep running and keep being the governor of New York as long as you'll have me. Yeah. You know. Well, Bill de Blasio needs a job. He'll be up oh, next God. year. It's next is there... year. Jackie, hmm? is it next year? Next, next November, he's yeah. done. Well, he, <laughs> he can't run again. Right? I think they need a cabinet janitor, don't they? they yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, he's, he'll be the janitor at the cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, you've got a great... Where, where do you live exactly, Mandy, again? I live in just north of Atlanta, about okay. 25 miles yeah. north in the suburbs. I'm in Gwinnett County, okay, um, which I think went for Biden. Yeah. Um, and Clayton County, which is down like the county right next. I lived in Fulton County growing up, which is mm -hmm. goes all the way from north of Atlanta down to the south of Atlanta. But yeah. Clayton County was right near where I grew up. And I thought that was so cool that Clayton County, when they, they dumped their votes, that's what put Georgia, you know, it went for right. Biden. And that was John Lewis's district. So I thought oh, that was wonderful. really cool. That's that wonderful. Was home oh, there. But you have, a, you have a great mayor there, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Yes. She's uh, terrific. And a lot yeah. of people are talking about her running for something other than mayor. Yeah. And Stacey Abrams. I mean, Stacey Abrams, the, the woman is absolutely. a machine. Well, like, they say, what the fact interested? that she was even purged when she even voted was trying to vote for herself for governor two years ago, and she found herself her own self purged. Yeah. I mean, she's and she's been on a mission the last two years, and she literally got like eight hundred thousand people registered or something. You know, yeah. but wasn't it also the guy that she ran against, is, who's now governor, was Secretary of State, so he yeah. controlled all yeah. the Yeah, now hold, don't even get me started. Yeah, but, but, I mean, we're going to boot his I, ass out. What did I hear? They people say, have been talking about Stacey Abrams. She is something. great. Oh, yeah, she's just awesome. I, yeah, yeah. But uh, how about Secretary of State? Who do you think is uh, in the running for that? You think uh, Hillary Clinton's in the No, she's already I, been Susan Rice. I'll, I'll be doing it, Alex. That'll be mine. Susan yeah. Rice, maybe? Steve? He'll probably have... hire a lot of people that were in, in, in Obama's cabinet. I Steve, mean... we can barely see you, but we can hear you. Do you have anything you want to add to any of this? There you go. Hey. Uh, I'm just happy that Trump died. I'm just happy it's over. Yeah. I've had enough of him. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I'm just, I'm so happy it's finally pulled away. Yeah. Hi. So, I, I find yeah, I'm very sorry about Ronnie. Uh, about Ronnie? Oh, I want my ex wife. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am too. You know, I'm sorry that she didn't live long enough to see this. Yeah. She wanted to. Yeah, I was sorry about that too. I mean, she decided to put herself out uh, by taking the, they allowed the suicide pill in Oregon, uh -huh. along now with heroin and uh, cocaine. Did you see that? Uh, yeah. 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 Really? They voted to decriminalize been. heroin and cocaine in, in, uh, in Oregon. Yeah. So everybody has got to have it. You know, move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move. Find a move. Yeah. You have to go to Georgia? 
Well, they decriminalized it, which I think is good. I think what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to think of it as a medical problem rather than a uh, oh, yeah. criminal yeah, problem, which is it's what a lot of states should do. And New yeah. Jersey, just New Jersey, yes, marijuana. Yes. marijuana. You, you've been it's sending legal. away to California to get your marijuana, Marjorie, but you know you can just <laughs> That's right next them. door. You could probably take an Uber Up over on the there. Bus. <laughs> come on over. Come on over. Yeah, you know, buy your pot and come home. <laughs> and pretty soon, I think we're going to do it. I think yeah. we're, huh? Are you going? Yeah, I'm going to go drink some champagne with my, my kids. Oh, oh okay. Hey. Let's oh, everybody say wave Paula. goodbye to Paula. Bye Thank bye. you, Paula. We love seeing you. Bye, Michael. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> hey, Mike. Uh, wait a minute, turn it off. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on a second. I can, I can actually. We, sh sh we should have. <clears throat> Should have had her check his browser. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay, no, 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 no. What I want to do is. I was. I, I had Trump's browser and all the time. Her open her her to, uh, to uh, hang up. Let me see here. Oh, wait a minute. Remove. Okay, I'll remove it. Okay. Do you want to remove Mike Eleven? Yes. Remove. There we there go. go. Okay. Go. I got it. Go. I was. I was joking, Alex, about Trump's browser that someone caught a picture of it with the tabs open. It was the Rosetta Stone for Russian and three tabs on places, countries that don't have extradition treaties. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true, but it's funny. Uh, well, the kids are already there. The kids yeah. are already there. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Don Jr., God, what a, what a dude, uh, what an asshole. Uh, you, by, by Monday, you'll be seeing the Don Jr. 24 uh, for president signs. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Or Ivanka. Yeah. Oh, Ivanka. Can't even imagine Ivanka coming back to New York. Didn't you say today, Shecky, that we haven't seen Ivanka in... in yeah, I did say that. Yeah. Her, we haven't seen her in days or mm. weeks. I think they I think they were there when Trump made a speech the other night. Is it why Both of them the be... I won speech? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I declare Michigan. <laughs> I can't even bring myself to that. I declare China. China. I, 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 I turned it off. Oh, no, if you actually, count if you count the legal votes, I won. If you count the illegal ones, that guy won. I mean, actually, what does that even mean? Like, <laughs> I was watching MSNBC, and they actually cut away. Yeah. Saying, there's no truth in the things that he's saying, and we can't. We don't think we should broadcast. Almost all the stations did that, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't they do that four years ago? And then the other yeah. Yeah, here, here's here's the best story of the week to me, of the colossal gall. Uh, Fox was the first network to call it for Biden. Oh, you know, Arizona. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. And they didn't change that till the end, okay? Uh, and they, they still say that they still declare Arizona. Well, Trump didn't like that, of course. Oh, he was so he calls up Rupert Murdoch. I guess he had his private number. Mm -hmm. Calls Rupert Murdoch and says, how can you do this to me? And he's yelling at him, you know, you should take that off. Go take the Arizona thing off, blah, 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 blah. And basically, Rupert told him to blow it out his ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Pretty much. I mean, it, and this is another way in which he sabotaged himself all the time. You know, yeah. he might have Fox in his pocket right now, but he started putting down Fox because Fox wasn't saying exactly what he wanted to hear. Well, that's the thing I'm seeing on my social media, at least, is a lot of my friends are like, I'm not watching Fox anymore. I'm going to watch OAN. That's my news of choice or whatever. And now I'm also seeing, have y'all heard about this new social media platform called Parler? Parler or Parler? Yes. PAR. I'd never heard of it till today, but I was like, that would be how's awesome, it? actually. Maybe they all go. How's it, how's it spelled? Parler? P-A-R-L-E-R. Parler. 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 What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I've never well, heard of it till today. My cousin. Hey, they just said announced she, was, she said she was interested in an event, and it's next Friday, the 13th, and it's where the math is called the mass exit from Facebook. I'm like, uh, bye. <laughs> it, the new season of The Bachelorette was just confirmed with Melania as The Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. How long till she files divorce papers? Yeah, they, they said they, they feel sorry for her because she has to do a pity fuck tonight. 
Uh, if, she can find, if she can find it. <laughs> if she's been trying to signal, uh, signal us messages by blinking her eyes. Have we been getting <laughs> Well, here's, what's the future for Donald Trump at this point? I think Melania will divorce him uh, if she has a good prenup. Otherwise, she's sticking yeah. around. Well, she got the good prenup when she went to the White House. Yeah, well, well, they, they renegotiated it. They, they renegotiated it? The yeah, yeah, there was a whole thing about it. The, it was confirmed yeah. that before she moved to the White House, she renegotiated the prenup. Wow. Or she wasn't going to look at the White House. Here's my question. By somebody that I, that I don't know. Uh, but this is, uh, let me see if I pronounce it correctly. Um, Daylin. Daylin, is that the name? I'm connecting to audio. Daylin T. Profit. Hello, Daylin. How are you? Fine. Where are you calling from? San Diego. San Diego. Ah. Wow. Ah. California. They, they went to Trump <laughs> like that, you know. Yes. They're and still got rain they don't today. Care. <laughs> you got rain got today. got rain. How, yes. How did you react when you heard it this morning? Uh with delight because <laughs> you had to be what you had to wake up to it pretty much I, I think it came in about what time marjorie 11. yeah around there i was on the toilet when you yelled <laughs> and, I told you. and said alex you got to get in here and i knew when she said that he had won i mean that you know when she, yeah. <laughs> well, it happened so fast it happened so fast and talking the news then all of a sudden Bingo. Well, all it yeah. took was for MSNBC or one of them. I don't know yeah. who the first one was to call it, to call it. And then they were and all. And once they did, they all did. Yeah. Yeah. Fox, Fox had it and we were just about to leave for lunch. And then I turned on uh, the MNBC and then all of a sudden it showed it. And I was shocked going, oh, my God, they're actually going to say this. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it was. Uh, and I just I felt such a, a feeling of relief because this <laughs> has been a very arduous yeah. thing that's yeah. gone on here. Um, exactly. And, uh, well, how did you feel when you first heard it, Galen? I was relieved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind I mean, of. Uh, yeah. I, I have a son in New York, so yeah. you know, we were both discouraged because of the Senate situation. Yeah. But it's it's hopeful. At least we have it a is. new president. Well, you, you want to know what? Uh, even if they still have the Senate, we have a president now who was a senator, and he was and a member, work with he, essentially a member yes. of the club. And so, well, also, no matter what you have, think, what you think, he's a friend of Mitch McConnell's in that sense. Yeah. So well, the point work, is, when yeah. Obama couldn't work with the Senate, they always sent Joe Biden over because he knew how to handle them. Yeah. When everything that had to go through the Senate, it was Biden that did it. I think he can finesse the Senate. I, I, I think he knows the Senate. But they have, they have 48, 48 and two independents. Mm -hmm. Is no. that how it's set up? Oh, right no, 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 two haven't been decided. It's Georgia. Two from oh, okay, Georgia. Georgia, they're having a undecided. Yeah, it's up to man decided. But there are two independents. There are yeah, there independent. are two independent. Huh? Yeah. But they're, they, they, they're two independent. Yeah, Bernie Sanders <laughs> is one of them. Yeah. But, uh, uh Let's see here. Mandy, you're yeah, going to go out and get, acts, uh, get people to vote for these guys. Democrat, anyway. I know. I was just yeah. looking at my coffee table. I have these impeachments <laughs> that my, my, my uh, oh, conservative mince. friend that was on the other day. Impeachments. Impeachments. There was a flavor of Ben and Jerry's called impeachment. Yeah. <laughs> or at least it was a gag that people had up. I had it on my mm. page for a while. Yeah. I looked at this. It's P-A-R-L-E-R. -E yeah. And it says... That it's a community of members, uh, and they have a it's unbiased, high ethical yeah. standard, and it's the decision is a community jury, and you have to verify your citizenship before you can join. Oh, nice! Oh, oh, <laughs> that's, that's the first thing you um, firm your. It says it's built on trust. Our verification process helps keep out bots and encourages civil discourse. Take the next step in pursuing these important values by becoming a verified citizen of Parliament. You know, the thing is that I, uh, 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 the thing I guess that I'm happiest about with this group of people here uh, that we have on this pop-up show, and that occasionally we do have them show up on the pop-up shows, is that they really are really a wide range of people from the various parts of the country. I mean, we had Georgia represented here, and with Paula, we had Ohio <laughs> to discuss that situation. 
Of course, <laughs> Dale and I, I'm from California myself, so I know that there was no way California was going to vote for Donald Trump. You know, it, it just. It, it, well, yeah, <laughs> except that I'm in East County, and so there's a whole little group of Trumpites here. East yeah. County? So I'm the minority in my little neighborhood, but oh. the rest of California is good. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't put a, a you didn't put a Biden sign on your lawn. I don't have a lawn. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Conserving water here. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Why the rain? Fire danger. <laughs> put out a sign in your gravel. <laughs> but that, don't yeah, that's gravel. the same. The same clay soil. <laughs> but that was the same thing here. You know, we we had these areas in San Jose area that had these Trump rallies, like like Kevin was talking about. You know, that, that there's a lot of people with their trucks, with the mm -hmm. flags on and crews, and they did this big parade through this one area and stuff like that. But, you know, they, they think they, that they do that and then they should win because they see everybody so vocal. But it doesn't mean that, you know, more people are still voting for Biden. Yeah. Right. No, I mean, but it, 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 uh, the question is, are we going to see riots from the, from the Biden, uh, from the Trump people? Isn't it, isn't it ironic that they, they said that the bad people, the protesters, were going to come into the suburbs and, and cause all this trouble? And now the guys with the, with the arms from the right are the ones who are going to go into neighborhoods and, and be violent and cause trouble. Clean it out. Yeah, they're, they're the, the losers are the ones that are going to be the violent ones. But all the suburbs are red. Yeah. You know, all the cities were blue. No, no. We're around here in the cities. suburbs. I'm in the suburbs, and all there were were, were Biden signs around here. I can't remember. Really? Uh, yeah. man, dude, but uh, uh, what's his name? That Steve Kornacki over it. Yeah. He was great. The guy with the uh, is right again. pants. Uh, uh, he, uh, who never sleeps, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah. He, uh, I'm actually drinking Karnacki energy uh, drink right here. Hi, 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 Kevin. Last for a month. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What? Yeah. It, it doesn't ever go to sleep on you. That's uh, right. Uh, I'm watching him. Gwinnett County was always been, you know, as a major area. Did it go blue? Yes. Okay. Very. Good. I think it came really close with Clinton, um, but but not that I know Cobb County did, and Cobb County has always been really red. So mm -hmm. they went blue, they went for Hillary, mm -hmm. and then of course they went for Biden. So Cobb yeah. County, that's an, just another suburb to the west of Atlanta. Yeah, look at the numbers. Cobb was fifty six point four percent Biden, forty two percent mm -hmm. Trump. Right. And Gwinnett was fifty eight point four Biden, forty Trump. Wow. I mean, and the thing is, as our whole com county commission went Democrat, that's the thing I did not even believe when somebody told me. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, we've, been, we've been joined by Kevin, who normally doesn't join us on these, uh, these pop-up shows, but we love having him here. Cause, Where's uh, Kevin? Uh, right there. With the beer. Right oh, where it says Steve's iPhone? No, below oh. Steve's Steve. iPhone. Oh, look at the right. guy with the white Santa beard. Claus. Santa. Well, you don't I see it. three rows of. Hi, Marge. Phone. Maybe can you move it up a little? Yeah, say something and you'll show up on her screen. Yeah, I'm on a. Um, I'm on my iPad. I just I thought I just it. saw the I thing just, and it popped I have up. Three people on each row and three rows. Well, there's one below that. Okay, I, I, I don't. And that's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Or scroll left, Marjorie. Ah, uh, there I did. Hi, yeah. Kevin. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Kevin. Uh, God, you were a poll worker, and I know what side you've been on all along. You must be, you must have been so happy today. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Can you hear, do you hear my audio? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I just, I haven't used the uh, iPad. I was just down here watching the news, and I thought I'd pop in. I saw you had a pop in, so. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Um you, you yeah, know, it, was, it was nice. I expected it, but it's uh, been kind of nice. Well, you know what? We expected it. We didn't expect it when we were voting, but we expected it when the first uh, votes came in and so on. All right? Uh, we knew which way it was going to go after a while. And yet, until they said he is now the president-elect, right. we, didn't, we didn't have that release that we needed and the relief. Yes. And then when they said it, man, it was like, I think there was a collective I mean, 
outside the window in on 116th Street. It just went wild. Wall to wall. I must wall. have seen four or five of my friends post exhale. That's all they posted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you have any horns where you were, Shecky? Nothing. Nothing. Well, you know where I live. You know. <laughs> yeah, but I was, you know. Yeah, 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 Queens isn't exciting. Well, no, I'm on a, you know, I'm on a quiet block in Queens, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure if I went down to Main Street or, you know, yeah, Hillside Avenue or Union Turnpike, maybe, but you're not know, where I am. Doesn't it say anything to the rest of the country that the city in which he grew up and was most famous for being <laughs> in New York City never went for Trump? Hate him. Yeah. I mean, Tennessee didn't go for Gore. Mm. They didn't go, what? Tennessee didn't vote for Gore. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, but I mean, and by the way, he moved to Mar-a-Lago and we're hoping, in fact, Cuomo said this himself on one of his, one of his press conferences, good riddance. <laughs> you know, we hope you never- What do you do back. when Mar-a-Lago closes for the summer? I guess he can stay. But. What does he do when Mar-a-Lago closes? You know, I mean, come on. He's the, the way, reason most of his hotels and his resorts and stuff in the COVID time have been still in use is because- He's made a lot of money off this presidency. He was Absolutely. charging $3 for a glass of water to the government. The thing I like about it is, is the fact that you can look at it and go, now we have a crowd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a look at our crowds now. Yeah, yeah. Think, do you see the crowds in front of the White House? Yeah. Oh, yes. like there are more oh, people there they demonstrating go. and 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 celebrating yeah. the were in inauguration. <laughs> and my, they all my, had uh, masks. They all I had masks text, too. I don't I know why they weren't chanting, "You're fired! You're fired! You're fired!" That would have been great. Yeah, I was just yeah. texting with my friend up in Portland, and her son is downtown Portland. And every time he drives through town, he starts playing YMCA, and they all start dancing like white people. <laughs> uh, it, it, the yeah, it's it's been really incredible. It's been incredible. Um, and yes, there was a sign. I saw one big sign in front of the White House that said, "You're fired" on it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. My favorite, my favorite drawing or thing was the one you showed me yesterday, Marjorie, which was the Statue of Liberty off of her pedal on the, and, and sneaking her head out from behind the pedestal, okay? Yeah. And it says, let me know when he's gone. <laughs> 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 uh, I just feel we got our democracy back. I just feel we got our country back. That it was I hope so. One of the better parts was me you being see able to watch Putin Fox probably there. resign next year. Who? Who? Vladimir Putin. Oh he's well, got he, Parkinson's. he's, he's, he's Parkinson's. Uh, very sick. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's not so be sad. around. That his family wants him to give up, quote, the power. So to well, he's the richest man in the world. He's the richest man in the world. Yeah. You know what he did is he got like what ten percent, fifteen percent of all of the oligarchs' everything. money. He's also pushing through something that no, quote, former president can be indicted for crimes. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder why. It's the Trump model. Uh, I just, do, you guys, you, you know. do you guys think uh, they probably will have to beef up uh, Biden's security team with the Secret Service? Absolutely. Are insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are nuts. Well, I think that's been pretty well beefed up for Trump, and I think it was really beefed up for Obama because the black guy won. Oh, for sure. You no. Know. Now, but these guys carry guns. They've already tried to do uh, do a shootout at the, in Philadelphia there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah was it two guys arrested at the yeah. convention center? Yeah, they showed up with like 20,000 fake ballots and they were fully armed trying to sneak it in so they could mm -hmm. say they were it's QAnon not, guys. Yeah. yeah. So they could say, look, there were fake ballots in there. The election's invalid. Now, I got, a, I got a problem with all of this. And maybe you guys can kind of work me through it. 
because it's kind of like a, a support group. Now that <laughs> Trump is going to be gone, what the fuck are we going to talk about? I just said that today. I said, are you going to be bored now? <laughs> You know something, something Alex? You said the same thing when Bush left. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about Christmas movies on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. no. <laughs> no. I think by we have like, a problem like, to Becky talk about. We got to watch uh, The Queen's Gambit. It's Queen's great. Queen's Gambit. Best show of the year. It's, it's oh, great, good. Andrew. It's Andrew. great. And I don't like chess. It's brilliant. Oh, that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. You don't have to like chess to love the movie. And she's she's amazing. She's great. Yeah. Well, is it a movie or a series? Uh, series on Netflix. You know, this is our, our Biden Seven episodes, yeah. closed end. This is our Biden celebration party. But I want to bring up something that has nothing to do with, with Biden or Trump or the elections or anything. It's the question of Netflix raising their prices $2. <laughs> Aren't they getting a little greedy? After all, that's two dollars higher, okay, for me, than I'm paying for HBO. Mm. Look, Probably I don't because the rent agree with the, went up. the money because <laughs> other people have given it up because they can't afford it. Really? Oh, I think that's part of it. Because I, I, I mean, I, or because they're paying Dave too much money. <laughs> but, but yeah, how much are they paying? I love Dave? that show, though. Yeah, it is good. But how much are they paying Dave? At least it was like twelve million dollars for the last couple of seasons. I don't know what this season cost them. Wow, what? you know, oh. and yeah, people like that. They were just throwing. They were just throwing drunken money. Yep. like you know, George Steinbrenner at these. He's people. making a, a per year about a third of the money that he made at CBS. Except he was paying us out of quote his salary. Yeah, so he doesn't have that cost anymore. No. He just gets the twelve million, and then they pay for. Puts the it in the bank. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Did you see the episode with Kim Kardashian? Though I just, yes. I, I just, I thought that was hilarious when they were in the CBS. <laughs> I, yeah. I, so useless. They're, they're, Dave is very funny. Uh, nothing more I'm enjoying lately than going back and watching the old late shows from NBC, mm -hmm. mainly because I like to see Shecky be humiliated by having to play Elvis Presley. <laughs> what are some of the other ways they humiliated you, Shecky? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I got a check for it. Yeah. That's right. Uh, is it playing anywhere anymore? The old show? No. Okay. So the only place you can get them is if you <clears throat> want to. The only place you can get it is at Don Giller's website. Yeah. Or on YouTube is where they show up. Which is on YouTube. It's his site. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there you can see you as Elvis Presley. You did a yes. good Elvis. You did a good Elvis. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see, and you won't know who I'm talking about, did you ever see my Lawrence Taylor, the giant black man from the um, New York Giants? Yeah. Yeah. It was only audio. I wasn't in blackface. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I see. You, you played him? Yes, but oh. it was only audio only. Oh, I see. Okay. But no, uh, uh, and the interview that Dave did with Kim Kardashian is good. And I'm, re I'm getting ready to watch the one with uh, uh, the comedian, Dave Chappelle. That's mm -hmm. a good one, too. Yeah. And it looked, I watched the beginning of it, and then I saved it for Marjorie, because I think it looks to be very good. Robert Downey Jr. was good. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll tell you, because Dave's only doing, you know, let's say four episodes, he's doing his homework on these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where he's talking to Dave Chappelle and says, well, you know, when you left the other show, you know, whatever that show was, and this happened, so he knows what he's talking about. Right, right. As I always joke, it's not him with that girl who's pushing her dress down so he can look at her tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was I hate that beard. Well, we all do. And that's why. He <laughs> and that's why he's doing it. Is because uh, um, it looks everybody good. hates that. I beard. like it. Now you have to say some Yes, yes but Kevin, yours your is not even as long as his. Yeah, well, you came up with a good idea and a good excuse why you could cut it, and that is to do it for charity. Charity, yes. Oh. You know, Meryl is selling jacket her old jackets off for charity. Wow. wow. You know, her Dave's old girlfriend. Yeah. So I, that's, uh, you yeah. know, because with the beard, I don't know. 
It's ugly. It's, yeah, but that nah, way it doesn't have to come on a show and here's my top ten list. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he did Kimmel a couple two weeks ago, and that never. You know, otherwise you'd be Bob Hope. Here's my yeah. top ten list. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I, what was funny is Kimmel introduced him, and he wasn't there on camera, and then yeah. he came on yeah. from behind the door, and he said, yeah. "Wasn't that the way we all enter on TV shows?" A great <laughs> intro. He, he talked a lot about uh, a little bit about Regis Philbin. Sounds like uh, he really, really uh, one of his top guys. Oh, well, they, Jerry Jerry Foley, our former director, was with Regis the night before he passed away. Oh mm. wow! Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. No, oh. Regis was again another great broadcaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no question about it. Let's see. So the top three are, uh, let's see, in, in reverse order would be uh, Regis, uh, Letterman, and then me, right? <laughs> yes. No, no, Billy Bush. Yes, of course. Billy Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bush, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I often felt sorry for Billy Bush. Yeah, that whole thing. Have you seen Sarah Cooper's thing that she did on uh, yes. on Netflix? No. She she reenacted. You know, she mimics Trump and does those great great videos. Yeah. I'm there with Helen Mirren playing Billy Bush and her as so Trump. Funny. Yeah. Oh. They, did, they did the bus the bus recording. Oh, yeah. It is really good. It? It's hilarious. And Where instead instead of uh, the the actress the the that they were talking about, you know, when they get off the bus and he flirts with the girl. It was the guy that, with the big mustache from Queer Eye. Wait, where did Seth say it? Andrew, where did you say it? It's on Netflix. Sarah Cooper has a one hour. The show itself has really funny bits mm. tied together horribly. Uh -huh. Really, it really, it's, I felt so bad because I think she's just freaking brilliant. She's great, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I have her books. <laughs> <laughs> They're, I use them in executive training with, with <laughs> clients. But the, the show, the, it, the directing, Missed, missed the boat, but the bits themselves are great. Mm. They, they just, they, they did a Photoshop of, uh, of Trump there on CNN. In a final bid for victory, Trump changes his name to Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying everything, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, you know, I mean, I, Trump would probably love to stay in the White House forever. I, I know that if you watched him carefully, Obama was very happy to leave. After eight years, yeah. he was happy to leave. He did his job, and he left. But yeah. Obama wasn't milking the government. Well, you know, this, uh, uh, well, uh, this is only one of, I think, six presidents who ran for re-election who lost their re-election bid in the entire history yeah. of the United States. So, um, in the first, after the first term. Yeah, and one of them got re-elected after being out of the term. For, yeah. I think Obama's going to make a great Supreme Court justice someday. You think so? I don't think, I, you know something? I think he's very happy. I, I'm being sorry. I don't want that. I I don't just, you talk that. about tweaking the right. <laughs> Everybody says, I mean, oh, oh. Didn't, didn't they get a big contract with Netflix? Yeah, some Obama stuff. for this, Obama for that. Yeah. And the, the, everybody is saying uh, Obama for nothing. He doesn't want to do it. You know, he's yeah. he's having a good time. He's having a good time, and you know, you're watching him give those speeches uh, for Great. Biden. He was terrific. He's having the time of his life. Yeah. You know, yeah. then he then he's sitting there doing that thing in the barber shop on uh, on HBO, uh, being interviewed there. Yeah, and he and then he he did that. Did you see the dunking of the uh, of the the, the basketball? basketball? Yeah, uh, threw the yes. basketball, made it right through the hoop, and says, "That's what I, I do." I see what <laughs> him doing like a Jimmy Carter, maybe not as very awesome as Jimmy Carter, serving yeah. with Habitat for Humanity. But I see him doing kind of the same thing, where he'll use his gifts to serve people and be in charity. Well, that's, like that. that's what a good ex-president does. You know? right. yep. Yes, Kevin? I'm going to scoot. I'll talk well, to you well, guys wait, later. We only got five minutes left. Oh, yeah, we got five uh, minutes I got to order dinner. Present. I got to go. Okay, go <laughs> order. Bye, Kevin. Bye. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Bye, Bye, Kevin. Thanks for calling. See ya. Oh, I really appreciate Bye. it. You got about five minutes left. I'm going to take this thing off at eight o'clock so you can all run over to your TV sets and watch Biden finally do his victory lap. 
Biden, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's Steve driving right now? Steve. Yeah, where are you uh, going, Steve? I am a Canadian truck driver. Right now I'm in uh, going around the bypass of Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm headed to uh, Los Angeles, California. Oh, oh wow. wow. Did, Boy, you, did I, he say Fort Wayne, Indiana? Yeah, Fort Wayne, yeah. Indiana. That's where my dad was from. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he moved to Georgia. Yeah, uh, but wow. uh, you're going all the way to California. I just, you know, truck drivers, uh, Kevin was a truck driver, too. And I just have nothing but the greatest respect for truck drivers. I got that respect when I was working for Sirius XM because they were I the first... I listened to you all the way from the beginning when you were on Sirius. Yeah, mm. and the reason why and we had a lot of truck drivers was they were the early adopters of satellite radio yeah. because they, they needed yeah. some to keep them company. And uh, it, they could keep serious on from mm -hmm. one coast to the other mm -hmm. and never have to change stations or find the station, a local station. Yeah. Right. And, and so I got a lot of truck drivers have called. I mean, I had, mm -hmm. I had my impression about truck drivers, which was they're all dumb glutes and, you know, they, 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 they screw, uh, lot, what do we call it? lot lizards, they call them. The <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <show up> the, <laughs> lot the, lizards. <laughs> Uh, You're never going to be president. And, and, <laughs> and I started getting calls from these very intelligent, educated truck drivers. And my whole opinion about truck drivers completely changed, you know? Well, there's still a few dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. But, you know, I mean, we have one truck driver that calls us on the nighttime show every now and then. Todd. Yes. Todd. Yeah. yeah. What, what's his name again? Uh, Todd. 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 Yeah, and you know, it's, it's, it's rough work. I couldn't do it. Plus, uh, I already have a good start on a couple of hemorrhoids. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, I just couldn't do it. So I really appreciate what you do because really you're the one that takes the stuff to Costco for me to buy. Right. You know? So. Someone's got to put those Depends on the shelf. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, you get married. We were just there today. Listen, she was the first one who had to have the pens in this house, okay? <laughs> every, week we, every week we'd go to Costco and she'd run up to the, the, the pens display. The pens Alex, large. Yeah, you, Alex you, don't forget you need your depends. And then all of a sudden she said, listen, I'm having a pee problem. Can you get me? <laughs> I had to go buy them. Surgery. What? I was after my surgery. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. does your shirt say, Alex? Oh, this is Obama. I bought this yeah. in China. Oh, Obama's a communist. <laughs> Obama is a, as, a, as, a, as a communist soldier, and I bought this hat in China, too. Uh, oh that's where God. we kind of had our honeymoon, actually, if you think about it. Alex the commie. Huh? I said you're Alex the commie. Alex the commie. Yeah, I love this shirt. I mean, I, I don't wear it in the street, though, especially here in Harlem, because you can't. <laughs> somebody won't realize that the joke yeah. involved. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, this, this shirt was made not out of hate for Obama, but out of appreciation for Obama. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I thought I'd wear it tonight, Sam, you know, I'm, uh, is to scare off all the, uh, the conservatives out there and say I'm dressed as the ultimate socialist. Yeah, I, I have to... <laughs> They're getting ready to. Yeah, have a, you should go. Uh, I, I wore this one to Costco. Costco and Lowe's get today. That your, Is that in Costco? I wore no, no. I wore oh, this at Costco it. and, and Lowe's, and I got some smiles. Yeah. So I know that people were they sort of knew my car. Yeah, I posted this on Facebook, and my car friend said, "Oh, did you get a Lincoln now?" I'm like, oh no. Oh, <laughs> there, there's, there's a couple of people that said good. A couple of people said cool. And I know those are Trumpers and they don't know what this is. So. I want to yeah. thank you all for being here on what is really a very special night. And I decided to do this because I figured everybody would want to celebrate. And that's exactly Absolutely. what occurred. Yeah. And it's with a bunch of the nicest people I know. Jeff, Connecticut. God, I wish this, this whole COVID thing would go away so we can have dinner again. That's right. Uh, Shecky, I haven't seen Shecky physically since the whole COVID thing began, and he lives just over in, in Queens. But I'm not going over there. It's super infected. You know, so. Yeah, but I'm apparently invited for Thanksgiving. Yes, so. So you're coming to Thanksgiving. But <laughs> wait a minute. So are we. Everybody was. Hold on here, a second. Wait a minute. You're the Thanksgiving turkey, Dick, right? Oh, here it is. I got this waiting for you. Are you looking for your mask? I got this waiting for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> 
You invited all of us. Yeah, I'm 98. You invited all of us. I'm 98.4. Wow. It's 8 o'clock. What is it? Okay. Uh, 98.3. Anyway, hey, listen, thank you all. Thank I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank Shecky. Yeah. I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, 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 Brian. I want to thank Steve, who's in a truck. Thank you, Steve. I want to thank uh, Dalen. I want to thank Mandy. Uh, hey, everybody, have a good night. Yeah, Marjorie. Thank Marjorie. And a good thank life Marjorie. I thank you, Marjorie. I thank you, Marjorie. Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our group for tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh, and uh, I will say goodbye to the rest of you as well. And we will uh, stop sending this out on Facebook. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Great. Yeah.